I'm overlooking this fortress and you may be asking yourself, hey Baron, why I got a couple cowboy guns, huh? You got yourself a repeating Winchester rifle and 1958 Navy pistol right here. Why you got that, huh? Why does that guy look like he's got six legs? Well, I'll tell you why, boys. <laughs> Where is my horse gonna come from heaven? Hey! Ta-da! Oh, well, he kind of looks like a pony, but you know what? I'll take it. All right, big dog, come on. Oh my gosh, cavalry charge! Okay, I just broke my, my horse's legs. What is going on here? We... They added an update where now we get dropped out of the plane? Do you see that? Look at that. So, so much has changed. Oh god, they're all down there. Now, the horses are a mod, the weapons are a mod, but that whole airdrop thing? That's new, boys. That is new. Oh my god, the Eagle reinforcements are just storming in here. We're not doing a very good job at defending this base. I'm gonna try to spawn in a horse again. Let's throw them in a, a nice spot. So the horse is made by Jesus, and the guns are made by Dr. Dr. PhD, and bloody at them. All right, so I may not be the best at, at riding a horse, so like any proper cavalryman, I've got a pistol. I've got a saber. Charge! Charge through the breach. All right, so this is where we're going. This is pretty interesting. There's definitely like this rocking. Now, hopefully, oh, I see. Hiya! I shall lead a brilliant counter charge. And by brilliant, I mean I'm dead immediately. But the cavalry's a really nice touch. So this is one of the things that was initially teased. What is this? What the heck is happening in Ravenfield, guys? There's some great mysteries as to what's going on. All right, so basically I found this out. This is actually patch notes on the early access um, EA14. And this is actually from like a few days ago. Hold on, let's lie down so we're not as easy of a target. But basically, if you look in the top middle, that shows you kind of like how the skirmish mode is working. Now the reinforcements have waves. By default, each team starts with two waves, but the number can be changed via the match length setting. And another thing is, is like, now, hold on. Let's switch to grenades. I love when this thing was implemented. Oh, perfect shot. Gotta love it, boys. You gotta love shots like that. All right, so we're defending this. This is like the newest map, right? This one in the river. And this one's my favorite. It's called the Citadel. You attack the fortress. It's pretty awesome, but yeah. Skirmish mode is totally new, and there's an added airdrop plane that spawns skirmish reinforcements. We got to see that just a little bit. I was trying to show off the horses, so what we're gonna do here is run at this guy. Grenade launcher out. Well, I guess P is gonna hit us from way out there, so here we go! We're spawning it on the plane, so this is definitely like looking like a placeholder model. And then we drop out, so this could actually work as like, maybe a battle royale mechanic or something like that? or like calling in tactical reinforcements that could play in a really interesting part in the campaign, which is one of the things that they're working on. So some of us are actually getting hit and shot at. Hold on. Kobe! Do we, where's that one going? That one looks like it's going to the moon! Oh my God, we're getting hit by like automatic fire. Ooh, someone called in, look at that. So someone called in the horse spawner over there in the APC, the newest one, this one, Led by Snake? Is that Solid Snake? So here we go. New mechanic, spawning in, we're following the guy- Wait. I am the guy with the bow. I don't know why this is the case. Why'd I spawn in as that guy, instead of the dude that I'm supposed to be, with the weapons that I chose? Alright, so look. Incoming Raven reinforcements. Is this ours? Don't worry, I've got a bow and arrow. I'm totally gonna be able to protect us. Okay, eagle reinforcements have arrived. You can see the raven. Oh my gosh. Giant freaking paratrooper attacks. Shoo! Shoo! <laughs> well, I mean, what am I supposed to do? I got a freaking bow and arrow. I guess... I guess I could... Look at it, and I got my... This is like totally AI. Oh my gosh, give me the horse. You know what, just give me the horse. We'll ride out. On a one-way mission here. Now, can I jump with him? You can't jump with him. Which is too bad, because I got this APC right here. 
Now, oh my gosh, getting shot off your horse. Horses are not viable. They're really cool, and it's fun that they're in, and it makes you wonder if, like, Ravenfield might get, like, Revolutionary War mode. And look at this, now I've become this guy. i become him. Now, this is one of the double barrels here by Dr. Dr. PhD. Oh my god, the AI is just smacking us right now. We're not doing too well. Somehow I have men in my squad as well, and I don't remember ever, like, telling them they should join my squad. So it looks like we are down to one aerial reinforcement, whereas the enemy has... Well, we're down to zero. The enemy has one. Come on, boys. Cover me. I'll get the guy with the... Oh man. All right, so let's see what happens. Do we spawn in as us? Or do we just spawn in randomly? Yeah, look, so that guy looks like he's got a double barrel. Looks like I'll become him as well. That's not the weapon I chose. See, this is the allotment I'm supposed to have. I'm not entirely sure how that's working. But maybe it, it becomes even more key to, like... Oh, look at this. Love love it. I love the spawning mechanic that Jesus did for that. Oh, God. Please don't get hit by auto cannon fire. It worked for the Seraphim Battle Armor. He's the guy who made the Seraphim Battle Armor. And he actually made a really cool little skit, and I did a little bit of voice acting for it. I'll leave the link to the vid uh, his video in a comment. So we're holding that. Reds are pouring over that. So I want to see... Oh, there we go. There it is. It just said that they were getting reinforced, and so here we go. Watch this. It looks like a C-47 from, like, World War II, like, American transport plane. Come on. You dropping them out yet? There they are. Oh my god. That's gotta be like... 50 men? Maybe 30? It's a lot of freaking men. Now I try- here we go. Oh, I actually hit one. Look at this. <gasps> this is not the right weapon. So one of the other things they did... Is, uh... They inc- whoa, don't look at me! They increased the viability of a grenade launcher's anti-tank in close-range situations just like that. And we're able to take out tanks using the little thumper and the grenade launchers. Alright, so here we go. Incoming Eagle reinforcements. We're gonna parachute out. Now, I'm not sure what the unlock is in 18, what that's all about. Basically, what happens is you don't get a pit- you don't get to go back to the units you want until the aerial attack. So I've set myself up to use, like, the automatic flak pistols. But I'm not gonna be able to use them until I get the proper deploy. Look at this. So we spawn in, and we get whatever units that this guy has. He's got a bazooka out? Okay. Oh, man. See, here's my thing. I had, like, the flak guns ready. Now, they get all the ravens, so that would be the thing to do, right? Is like, can I hit one with a bazooka at distance? Oh, dude, they're really hard to hit. They got so many of them, so that's how it works. Oh, man. Look, they're flanking us over here, they're over here. Dude, this pistol's dope. Yeah, so skirmish mode's totally crazy, and I'm still trying to figure out the rules and how, like... I only get a spawn in my... like... So... I want all of my guys to have good guns. Not just me at the beginning. I, like, never use this gun right here. Little semi-auto sniper. You die, you immediately respawn. So then the task is, how do I get... I guess it puts a lot more emphasis on, like, you want to survive. Because if you die, you're not guaranteed to get the weapons you want. Unless, of course, you set all the bots to do that. I'm thinking this might be a test for some kind of a campaign mechanic. There we go. Oh, oh, oh. There they are. There they are. All right, we got a little bit of a semi-auto sniper here. So that's when we would probably get our guns back. But look at this, this thing's not the most accurate. Ooh, we got a hit. And all we are is a support class, so... You know what, boys? Good battle, good fighting. 
That's gonna do us here today. I'm gonna have to go read up on skirmish mode because it's absolutely crazy. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching another episode of Totally Accurate Battle Simulator where I have been very, very confused. And by that, I mean Ravenfield. <laughs> anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.